landed in Columbus, Ohio. Got my rental Ford Mustang. I'm about to drive over to either the track or the hotel now. Not sure yet. They're both in the general area, so I'm just gonna head that way and kind of see what happens. But safe travels, made it, we're on our way. Day number one. Car didn't get it, end up getting here until pretty late, so the test and tune opportunities were already passed. We did have one chance to go down the track. Unfortunately, not the greatest. Uh, we ended up red lighting, so we didn't get an official time. We did get a data log, and it was shifting way later than it was supposed to be. So that was good, you know, gave us an opportunity to review the log and make some adjustments. However, as of now, we are not even qualified for the EcoBoost battle. So tomorrow, there will be, I believe, two more opportunities to qualify. We were racing against the yellow UPR 2.3, and that ran in 11.8, left on time, and it seemed like we were almost catching it near the end, even though we were still stopped at the at the line when they were taken off. We had a couple issues with intake temps being high, coolant temp was high, track kept closing down and opening back up, so it was, it was tough. But first day at the track is uh, in the books. All right, so I'm here at the track, day two. Nobody gets power to the ground better than and we're just hoping to qualify today. Yesterday we had the red light and have got you covered. So, so we're not qualified. Like All we really have to do is make it down the track. We don't really care about the ET time. We'll have time to review the data log and then focus on that later. And actually we've kind of lowered our expectations currently. For one, the car weighs a lot more than we thought it did. Maybe the scale is wrong, I don't know. Uh, came out to 39.50. And we were really expecting to be closer to 3,400. So that's a big, you know, that's that's half a second. There's only one brand that's been around for over 75 years. Well, we're gonna get some time. The uh, qualifying is about to start right now. Walking up to the car, and we'll see how today goes. What's up, Steven? Morning. Second qualifying pass. We got coolant. Can't tell if we lifted the heads or if a hose popped off. We're about to get under it and see what the damage is. Check the log. Boost was good. Looks like fuel pressure might have dropped. But don't know. Pretty crappy though. Let's see what happened. Quickly well, on the we found it. On the See that hose back there? The manufacturer's midway is That's awesome. supposed to be They're attached to the water pump. Tires, parts, to jet cars Not sure if this is going to be fixable at the track. Big welcome to the team that's way better than a head gasket. Uh, Alright, so I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, hole right there. I mean, it that's where it's supposed to go. It doesn't have to hold that, that popped up. Alright, got some JB Weld action going. Sanded. Brake cleaned. This is our hope. This is what broke off. <laughs> Got this thing all apart. 
We're at the track. Still not qualified. We're not gonna make the next qualifying session because this has to cure for four hours. So our only hope is for to make the last qualifying session tomorrow. So we had some pretty terrible news recently. When we thought we had another opportunity to qualify, we actually didn't. So we did not even qualify for the EcoBoost battle because of two red lights and then we were skipping the third to give the coolant leak time to cure. You know, life goes on. Uh, we did luck out this morning and they're gonna let us race in a bracket three. So we'll at least maybe get some uh, actual times and be able to move forward. Once again, lots of hurdles, but you know, it's part of the process. When you have goals set as high as we do, there's gonna be a lot of stuff trying to stop you. a good launch. We ended up figuring out why the car kept pushing through the brakes. Uh, it was a combination of the line lock and also just the EcoBoost swap that Steven did didn't include the vacuum assist. So that power of the brakes wasn't there as much as expected. So you really had to freaking just hammer the brake down to get it to hold. So on this launch, the car held. We ended up kind of launching off of idle, and as you can see here, it launched pretty good, but then it fell on its face really bad. So we were able to get it down all of this one and make some improvements, did a little testing off the track to verify it, and things are going good. Uh, on the last run, which you're gonna see here next, was when we ran the 11.3, which is amazing, especially since we left off idle. Completely just, you know, brake to pedal. The agreement was let's launch easy, let's not worry about it. And you can see in the 60 foot that it's a, like 1.89, which is pretty slow for this car. You know, if we had a 1.5 60, which we're plenty capable of, this car would be going way faster in 11.3. Unfortunately, we did not get a data log of the last run, and it turns out that we heard a piston. So everything changed, all the plans changed, and currently, the motor is with Excessive Motorsports. We've got some huge plans going on for it. Uh, we're gonna push the limits for this thing uh, tremendously. We're talking 800, even up to maybe 1,000 horsepower, who knows? We've got some full race turbos coming, some top mount. So the plans have changed on this car. If you've enjoyed this series, then stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe because it is gonna get intense with this car this project is nowhere near complete and i just i cannot wait to see what happens next it's gonna be awesome so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed everything and uh, like i said hit that subscribe button